What's up guys, it's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming with another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we filled the screen with our tiles here, got a nice little tile grid going on, and what we're going to do this time is create kind of the base for a rudimentary tile editor, because right now they're all the same green grass tiles, so we're going to put in some dirt in there. And so go to the uh, tile grid class here, and you see we have our default constructor right here, and all that's doing really is just going through every tile in our map and just making it grass, um, which we did last time. But we're going to make a new constructor right below it, public tile grid, and it's going to take a double array of integers as an argument, and we're going to set it up similar to the, the last time, so map equals new tile 20 by 15, and have our double for loop right here. Oops. And then inside of this, it's going to be a little bit different because we're not just sitting at all the grass. And we are going to kind of make this editing um, more advanced, I guess you could say, in the future. But for right now, since we only have dirt and grass, it's pretty simple. We're just going to do an if or else statement for dirt or grass. So let's check inside of here if new map, which is the argument that we passed in here, at spot j and then i, and take note it's j, i, not i, j, and you'll see why in a second here, is equal to zero, then we're going to say, we can just copy it from up here. Map at ij equals new tile grass. Else, and we can just change the grass to dirt. All right, so that's our new constructor, which takes a double int array. Um, and now you're wondering where that array is. We still need to make it. So let's go to the boot class here. And we'll make a temporary one here. So define a double integer array named, uh, I'll just name it map. And the way you set it up is like this. First, get a semicolon because we're declaring a variable. And inside here, you can actually put various integer arrays. So it's an array of arrays, right? So we're just going to manually put in our map here, and uh, we can edit it after. So for now, just get so you have like this right here, um, open, close bracket, semicolon at the end. And we're going to do an open bracket. And remember, our map, let's see, our map is actually 20 tiles wide and 15 up and down. So we're literally going to create that right here. So open bracket, and we're going to put 20 zeros. I probably should have counted out loud. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I think I got that right. And then put a comma at the end. And once you have your 20 zeros right there, you can copy this line. And we're going to paste it 15 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now where we make our tile grid, uh, right below there, we had the default constructor with no arguments. This time we're going to pass in map. And we're going to see if it works the first time or if it's totally broken. So let's try it. Perfect. All right. So it looks the same, right? Because it's all zeros. But what we can do is we can go back. And just like a very simple map editor, we can actually just edit the ones to create the uh, dirt tiles where you want the dirt tiles to be. And so you can start making like a simple kind of uh, path for the enemies to flow through. But for now, I'm just testing if it works. So let's see, I'll create a little a smirk. Perfect. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.